All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2024 Central Utah Science and Engineering Fair Award Ceremony for juniors and seniors. My name is Cody Peterson. I work in the Ira A. Fulton College of Engineering at BYU. Interestingly enough, I'm not an engineer. I'm actually a planetary astronomer, but I kind of keep that on the down low. So, uh, we love standing here though, so we are very happy to see all the amazing projects that came through and really commend you for your hard work, your innovation, and sticking through these difficult projects. So we'd love to congratulate you with our award ceremony here tonight. Uh, just to give you some logistics on how we're going to essentially run this, um, the first and foremost important thing um, is after I announce each name for the award, um, we won't applaud right away. We'll actually line up a, a group of you on the stage, and then we will, you know, give you your medals or whatever awards you qualify for, and then we'll applaud you as a group. Uh, we will have you line up in order by Nathan here, who's going to be my assistant tonight. And once we've read off the group and we've applauded you, you will come around behind me, back, uh, back behind the stage, and then we'll have some helpers that will guide you down the ramp to where you will uh, get your money, your awards, and a photograph as well. Um, and then when you're done, we want to make sure that you come back to your seat. So you'll go through the hallway and back into the auditorium because some of you will actually win more than one award this evening. So make sure to return to your seat after you come up to the podium. Uh, lastly, uh, I am not a linguist. So I will pronounce your name as best as I possibly can. Uh, if it sounds like you, and it's the same school as you, it probably is you, so uh, you, can, you can come on up and get your award, but I will try my absolute best tonight. All right, so with that said, you all ready to get into the awards? We're first going to start with our specialty awards from our various sponsors of QCEF, which we're very grateful for. So to begin this evening, we have our American Psychological Association Award. This goes to Amaya Jones from Early Light Academy. Wow. Amaya will have you come up and Nathan will direct you here. Our next uh, award is also uh, the American Psychological Association Award. This goes to Mason Beck, Milo Riggs, and Tyler Martin from Canyon View Junior. This goes to Caitlin Johnson from Westlake High School. Go by here. Just kidding. I'm a Lehigh alum, by the way. All right, awesome. Next, we have our Great Basin Air and Waste Management Award. This goes to Talmadge Wallace from ALC. Next, we have our NASA Earth System Science Award, and we have two of these awards. The first goes to Elliot Mitchell for Early Life Academy. Our second NASA Earth Science System Award goes to Jessica Orocio Ordonez from Timpanogos High School. Okay, so we'll give them all a round of applause here. Awesome, all right. Continuing with our specialty awards, we have our Atmospheric Administration Award. This goes to Liz, Lucy Wilson and Kinsey Cifuentes from Pleasant Grove High School. We have another atmospheric administration, excuse me, another atmospheric administration award. 
This goes to Fiona Smith from Harriman High. Congratulations. Now we have several awards from the United States Navy and United States Marine Corps. First, Jillian Morella from Mountain Ridge Junior. The same award goes to Ella Brazel from Mountain Ridge Junior. Uh, we have another U.S. Navy, U.S. Marine Corps award for Seth Hansen from Valley View Middle. Another U.S. Navy and United States Marine Corps award goes to Christopher Benson from Westlake High School. An additional U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps award goes to Carly Graybill from Paradigm Academy. One page down. We have another uh, award for, from the United States Navy and United States Marine Corps. This goes to Tyler Shoemaker from Westlake High School. And our final United States Navy, United States Marine Corps award goes to Braden Green and Nolan Stalin. Awesome, let's give these specialty award winners a great round of applause. <laughs> and we'll have you follow Nathan here. Thank you. And congratulations. Okay, continuing with our specialty awards, we have the award for originality. This is presented to Lucy Wilson and Kinsey C. Fuentes from Pleasant Grove High School. We have an additional award for originality presented to Tanish Shetty from Miser Prep Academy. Next, we have our award for presentation. One of our presentation awards goes to Caitlin Scarda from Pleasant Grove High School. And our last presentation award also goes to Tana Shetty. So if you just want to step up forward one more time. Our next award goes to Research Design. This award goes to Fiona Smith from Merriman High. Joining Fiona is Devonna Smith, also from, er, excuse me, not from Merriman High, from Early Light Academy, also for the Research Design Award. Our Regeneron Biomedical Science Award goes to Sky Teeples from Provo High. <laughs> Our RICO Sustainable Development Award also goes to Fiona Smith from Harriman High. We have an additional RICO Sustainable Development Award. This goes to Hannah Lassen, Matilda Carlin, and Tori Brinkerhoff from Pleasant Grove High School.
Awesome. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. I'm not done yet. I still have more specialty awards to award. Awesome. Okay. Our scientific journal award goes to Braden Green and Nolan Skousen from Early Life Academy. <laughs> we have an additional scientific journal award. This goes to Rebecca Blodgett from Timpanogos Middle. The Society for In Vitro Biology Award goes to Lucy Wilson and Kinsey C. Fuentes from Pleasant Grove High School. We have an additional Society for In Vitro Biology Award. This goes to Fiona Smith, Airman High. Our USAID Award goes to Sarah Lee, Tipview High. We have an additional USAID award. This goes to Lucy Wilson and Kinsey C. Fuentes, Pleasant Grove High. It is a long walk. <laughs> awesome, and let's congratulate them on their award. We have our United States Metric Association Award. This goes to Jesus Elam Baca from Pleasant Grove High School. We have an additional U.S. Metric Association Award. This goes to Madeline Karen from Soldier Hollow. Our first U.S. Stockholm Junior Water Prize goes to Fiona Smith from Harriman High. Our second U.S. Stockholm Junior Water Prize goes to Caitlin Johnson from Westlake High School. And safety award goes to Sarah Lee, Tim View High. We have an additional public health and safety award. This goes to uh, Miliani Tokuafu. Centennial Middle. Our next United States Air 
Force Award goes to Christopher Benson, Westlake High School. Our first Thanksgiving Point Award goes to Henry Price from Mountain Ridge Junior. Our next Thanksgiving Point Award goes to Amber Schistler, Willow Creek Middle. Our next award is the Yale Science and Engineering Association Award. This goes to uh, Miriani Tukuafu, Pleasant Grove High School.
In third place from, from chemistry, we have Zhu, uh, Zijuan Yang from Highland Elementary. And our last third place winner in chemistry is Harrison Schaff from Timpanogos Middle. In third place for Earth and Environmental Science, we have Maggie Ball from Mountain Ridge Junior. Congratulations on your awards. Let's give them a round of applause. As well. All right, our next junior division category we have energy, chemical, and physical. In third place, Emmeline Ellinger from Reagan Academy. Also in third place in energy, chemical, and physical, we have Lila Clough and Rand Lake from Willow Creek Middle. In third place for engineering, civil, and environment, we have Pedro Sousa from Centennial Middle. Also in third place for civil and environmental engineering, we have Mayel, Mayel and, or excuse me, Mayel Homer from Centennial Middle. <laughs> Next in third place for materials and mechanical engineering, we have Vanko Stewart from John Hancock Charter School. materials and mechanical engineering, we have Anna Binger from Lake Mountain Middle. Also in third place for materials and mechanical engineering, we have Savannah Johnson from Centennial Middle. Awesome, let's give them a round of applause as well for all our work in All right, awesome. Uh, next we'll move into our physics, astronomy, and mathematics. In third place, we have Magdalena Leighton Lara from Centennial Middle. Physics, Astronomy, and Mathematics, Ella Frizzell, Mountain Ridge, Jr. <laughs> Continuing with our third place award in Physics, Astronomy, and Mathematics, Ju uh, excuse me, Julian Morello, Mountain Ridge, Jr. <laughs> And our last third place award for physics, astronomy, and mathematics, Lane Reckling, Mountain Ridge Junior. <laughs> Keep studying physics and astronomy, by the way, it's the best science. <laughs> awesome, let's give them a round of applause. For Okay, that wraps up our third place winners in junior division. We'll now move on to our second place winners in junior division. 
In animal and plant sciences, in second place, we have Maybe McBride from Early Light Academy. Also in animal and plant sciences, in second place, we have Amelia Ann Lords from Mountain Vision. Our second place award for behavioral and social science goes to Savannah Rebelli, Lincoln Academy. We have an additional second place award in behavioral and social science. This goes to Rachel Christiansen and Jamie Christiansen from Reagan Academy. Our next second place award for behavioral and social science goes to Emery Brimhall, Reagan Academy. Our second place award for biology and biochemistry goes to Brietta Curtis, Mountain Ridge Junior. And our final second place award for biology and biochemistry goes to Meadow Hurley and Ruby Bond from Reagan Academy. Awesome, let's give these second place winners a round of applause for their hard work. In second place in biomedical, medicine, and health sciences, Lincoln Johnson, Early Life Academy. Also in second place in biomedical, medicine, and health sciences, Stella Xiang, Challenger School. In second place for chemistry, we have Eva Fellers from Centennial Middle. Also in second place for chemistry, we have Joseph Suter, Centennial Middle. In second place for chemistry, Andre Lesser, Early Light Academy. And our last uh, second place award for chemistry goes to Kelsey Prince, Mountain Ridge Junior. And our only second place winner in Earth and Environmental Science goes to Aubrey Foote, Mountain Ridge Junior. All right, great. If we can give them a round of applause for their innovation. In second place, for civil and environmental engineering, we have Anj Patel 
Freedom Academy. Also in second place for civil and environmental engineering, we have Camille Stritton from Centennial Mill. For second place in materials and mechanical engineering, Madeline Cummings from Reagan Academy. Also in second place for materials and mechanical engineering, Thomas Scott from Dixon Middle. In second place for materials and mechanical engineering, Levi Platt, Centennial Middle. And our last second place winner in materials and mechanical engineering goes to Samuel Clay, John Hancock Charter School. Give you a minute to run down here. <laughs> I expect you to break the sweat. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's give this group a round of applause. Okay, in second place for physics, astronomy, and mathematics, Caster Boggs, Challenger School. Also in second place for physics, astronomy, and mathematics, Risha Stephen, Freedom Academy. And our last second place winner for physics, astronomy, and mathematics goes to Sloan Deming, Mountain Ridge Junior. And that wraps up our junior division second place winners. If you give them a round of applause. We will now announce our first place junior division winners. In animal and plant sciences, Brinley Askell, Centennial Middle. In first place for behavioral and social science, Charlie Blood, Timpanogos Middle. In first place for Biology and Biochemistry, Annalise Roman, Challenger School. In first place in Biomedical, Medicine, and Health Sciences, Mallory Rothy, Mallory In first place for chemistry, Carter Wilcock and Jackson West, Valley View Mill. Also in first place for chemistry, Steven Peterson, Diamond Fork Junior High. And in first place for Earth and Environmental Science, Karsten Dobbins, Timpanogos Middle. Congratulations on your first place award. If we can give this group a round of applause.
Okay, moving on with our first place winners. In energy, chemical, and physical, we have Srivali, Kundajala, and Challenger School. In civil and environmental engineering, we have Tanish Shetty, Miser Prep Academy. In first place for materials and mechanical engineering, we have Weston Gibbon, Mountain Ridge Junior. In first place for physics, astronomy, and mathematics, Devonna Smith, Early Life Academy. And that wraps up our junior division third, second, and first place winners. If we could give all our award winners a first place for In third place for biology and biochemistry, Hannah Lassen, Matilda Carlin, and Tori Brinkerhoff from Pleasant Grove High School. In third place for biology and biochemistry, Ethan Condor, Pleasant Grove High School. In third place for biomedical, medicine, and health sciences, Sarah Lambert, American Fork High School. In third place also for biomedical, medicine, and health sciences, Christensen and Isaac Richardson from Canyon View Junior. In third place for chemistry, Molly Burton, Pleasant Grove High School. In third place for electrical and computer engineering, Elsa Wall, Paradigm Academy. Awesome, let's give a hand round of applause for our third place winners. Okay, we will now move to our second place senior division winners. In animal and plant sciences, we have Emily Becky, Pleasant Grove High School. In second place for behavioral and social science, Mason Beck, Milo Riggs, and Tyler Martin, Kenny Hugh Jr. In second place for biology and biochemistry, Daniel Leach, American Fork High School.
in second place for biomedical, medicine, and health sciences, Sarah Lee Timpuhai. In second place for chemistry, Emma Southern, Pleasant Grove High School. In second place for Earth and Environmental Science, Laura Davis, Pleasant Grove High School. In second place for Energy, Chemical and Physical, Carter Flint, Timberline Middle. In second place for Electrical and Computer Engineering, Yuxi Chen, Westlake High School. And our last senior second place winner for Physics, Astronomy, and Mathematics goes to Caitlin Scarda, Pleasant Grove High School. In first place for physics, astronomy, and mathematics, 
Zoe Dixon, Lone Peak High School. And let's give these senior division first place award winners a great round of applause for their amazing talent. Okay, we now move on to our grand awards. And we'll start with our Thermo Fisher Junior Innovators Challenge. This is a really uh, neat reward because only about 3,000 students nationwide are selected for this award. And they'll invite you to write an essay. And that essay is judged by Nobel laureates. It's judged by faculty from prestigious universities and people from industry. And 300 semi-finalists are selected from those 300 and you will get an awesome package in the mail from them. Of those 300 semi-finalists, 30 are selected to compete in a challenge in Washington, D.C., paid for by Thermo Fisher. So if you write a great essay, you have a chance of going to Washington, D.C. and competing there, meeting fellow science students and getting a, a tour of Washington, D.C. So our first Junior Innovator Challenge from Thermo Fisher goes to Brindley Assel from Centennial Middle School. Our next award goes to Charlie Blood, Timpanogos Middle. Our next Thermo Fisher Junior Innovator Challenge Award goes to Annalise Roman, Challenger School. Continuing on, our next Thermo Fisher Junior Innovator Challenge Award goes to Mallory Brockbank, Valley View Middle. Our next Junior Innovator Challenge Award goes to Carter Wilcock and Jackson West, Valley View Middle. Continuing on with our Junior Innovators Challenge Award, Steven Peterson, Dining Board, Junior High. Our next Junior Innovator Challenge Award goes to Karsten Dobbins, Timpanogos Middle. We do have a few more uh, Thermo Fisher Junior Innovators Challenge, but our stage is getting a bit packed, so we will give them a round of applause. Okay, our next Junior Innovator Challenge Award goes to Srivali Kundajala, Challenger School. Our next award, Tanish Shetty, Miser Prep Academy. Our next Junior Challenge Award goes to Weston Gibbon, Mountain Ridge Junior. And our last Junior Innovator Challenge Award from Thermo Fisher goes to Devon Smith, Early Live Academy. Give them a congratulations, but Weston, I'm going to have to stay back for just a second. So the rest of you can go, and Weston will have you remain uh, on the stage for us.
Sorry to put you on the spot there, but you won another award. Our Lemelson Early Inventor Prize goes to Weston Gibbon. Okay, now we will award our Dean's Awards from BYU. These come with a cash reward, which is really nice. Uh, we will start with the McKay, McKay School of Education. The Dean Award goes to Tyler Shoemaker from Westlake High School. The Dean Award from the College of Life Sciences goes to Sarah Lee, Tip you high. The Dean Award from the Ira A. Fulton College of Engineering and my boss goes to Yuxi Chen. And our last Dean Award from the College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences goes to Molly Burton, Pleasant Grove High School. And we'd just like to thank our deans as well for contributing to this, this science fair. We do appreciate them and, and their support in this as well. So if we could give them a round of applause for being a team of Okay, next up we have three scholarships to award. Our first scholarship is one year full tuition scholarship from the McKay School of Education. This scholarship goes to Laura Davis, Pleasant Grove High School. We have one additional scholarship from the McKay School of Education. Again, one year of full tuition. This award goes to Emma Southern, Pleasant Grove High School. Our last scholarship comes from the BYU Department of Geology. Ooh, go planetary science. This is also a one-year full tuition scholarship. It's called the George Hansen Scholarship. This is being awarded to Sky Teeples from Provo High. Okay, next we will move on to our Junior Division Grand Champions. Our first Junior Division Grand Champion is Devonna Smith from Early Life Academy. Our next Junior Division Grand Champion is Brimley Astle. Centennial Mill. Our next Junior Division Grand Champion, Annalise Roman, Challenger School. Carsten Dobbins, Timpanogos Middle. Our next Junior Division Grand Champion, Tana Shetty, Miser Prep Academy. And 
And our last junior division grand champion, Weston Gibbon Mountain Ridge Junior. Our last awards for the evening are our Senior Division Grand Champion Awards. We also call these our Regeneron ISEF finalists. These awardees will travel with us to the International Science Fair in Los Angeles, California in May to compete against students from 100 different countries, meet amazing people, and you get to hang out with us in California. This is all, in, uh, all expenses paid for you as a student as well, and it is an amazing opportunity to have your projects judged by faculty members in California, Nobel laureates, and those that are well-known in the science community. It's just an incredible opportunity. So our four Regeneron ISEF finalists that will accompany us to California for our International Science Fair. First, Talmadge Wallace. His science fair project title is Photo Remediation and Harvester Ants. Congratulations. Our second ISEF finalist, Fiona Smith, Harriman High. The title of her project, Electrifying Lake Mud. Our third ISEF finalist, Zoe Dixon, Lone Peak High School. Her project is identifying possible transiting exoplanets in the test database. And our final ISEF finalist and senior Grand Division champion, Sky Tables, Provo High. This project called a genetic algorithm parameters used in solving NP complete problems. We'd love to see you here next year with improved projects or something new or something to build upon. And if you are a senior, if you're a 12th grader, we hope to see you at, at BYU in the fall. And we wish you a safe evening, travel home safely, and just to give another round of applause to all of our winners and participants. Thank you, and good night. Next year, Amber.